Your name is? Louis Sohoyas. And you won an Academy Award in the documentary category for a film called? The Cove, yeah, I'm the, the director of a film called The Cove. Uh, and The Cove is about? The Cove is about um, a, a unique team of activists that uh, go into a cove in Japan to reveal a dark secret. It's, uh, you know, the joke on the set was that we're all professionals, just not at this. It was a, um, a team of activists that, uh, we, it's, it's basically a film about dolphin hunting in Japan. But it's, it isn't dolphin hunting for sport, what's it for? Well, they hunt dolphins for Swim with Dolphin programs that they send out all over the world. And uh, they actually use dolphins t for food there too. So sushi? Um, sushi, steaks. Yeah, they, they cut it up and use it as a food source. Now, for people who haven't seen the film, they, they would think, well, uh, there's shark fin soup. Why shouldn't dolphin be served as a soup for people who are not familiar? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, d dolphins are intelligent, sentient. They have bigger brains than us. When you say uh, sentient, that means? Uh, sentient means they're, uh, you know, they have emotions. They have, uh, they're, they're sensitive. You know, they're, they're aware. They have self-awareness, consciousness. They're mammals, like like our pets. Yeah, they're they're land-breathing mammals. Just uh, sorry, they're they're air-breathing mammals, just like us. So they're like animals, like us. In fact, uh, we do intelligence tests with uh, with dolphins, and they rank up with. Uh, well, I mean, it's funny. We you know we, we do an intelligence test, but you know we're testing them by our standards. You know, by their standards, we're not very uh, intelligent at all. We can't do any of the things that they can do very well. You know, swim, you know, they're more social than us. They have complex emotions. They can, you know, they can do quite a bit of things that we can't do. Um, they've, they've managed to be on the, on the planet for, you know, 30 million years more than human beings with, with a bigger brain and not jeopardizing the whole planet with it, too. Are there laws against uh, capturing uh, dolphins along with tuna fishing? Well, there's, there's, yeah, the Marine Mammal Protection Act protects, uh, you know, mammals in this country within our territorial waters, but it doesn't protect them outside of our country. In Japan, it's actually legal to, to catch dolphins and porpoises, and they were killing about uh, 23,000 a year in Japan, and. Uh, now in Japan, they're killing about half as many since uh, the cove came out. We, we've actually had a, a substantial impact on dolphin and porpoise hunting in Japan because the, the, the dolphin meat is toxic. Most people don't do that, no, no, don't know that, but uh, uh, in Japan, they're starting to know that because they used to think it was healthy meat, and it's actually very toxic. Uh, dolphin meat has anywhere from five to five thousand times more mercury than allowed by Japanese law. And so, have the, the standards? kept dolphin meat out of the food supply? No, they haven't. They've actually, uh, there's actually, if you go to the uh, the Ministry of Health site in Japan, they actually have recommendations for how much bottlenose dolphin to eat for if you're a pregnant woman. And a pregnant woman, the fetus, is, has the most volatile time uh, for, you know, the newborn brain of an infant to be developing, and you don't want to be putting toxins into it. And that's ex exactly what happens when you have a, a mother with milk, all the toxins go out through the baby, through the milk. So you don't want to be eating dolphin if you're a pregnant woman. What is this uh, foundation that uh, you're promoting? Um, I run the Oceanic Preservation Society. It's a small group of filmmakers that uh, we make films to, to raise awareness about ocean issues and actually to provide solutions as well. Uh, solutions to what sort of issues? Well, like the dolphin hunting issue. Um, the next film is about the, the mass extinction of species caused by mankind. Um, most people don't know that's going on right now, but there's been five major extinctions in the history of the planet. We're going through a sixth one right now that's caused by people, by humanity. Extinction of what? Extinction of just about everything you can imagine. All, all species are in danger. We're losing uh, you know, dolphins and whales. There's some remnant species left of uh, just about every category. You know, we're, you're down, you know, it used to be three, four hundred thousand blue whales, we're down to ten thousand. They still haven't recovered since the moratorium. If there's 55 Maui dolphins left off the coast of New Zealand, uh, 150 pink dolphins off the coast of Taiwan, 
uh, 300 vaquita in Mexico. These are remnant populations. It used to be really robust, ten, robust, robust populations, tens of thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands, and now they're going down to you know just a few left. How about the uh, Alaska a Wildlife Preserve? Is is there a threat if drilling uh, were to? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, you know, drilling up in the Arctic, it's, it's madness. It's absolute madness. You know, the, there's no reason that we need to drill up there when we have enough natural free energy all around us. You know, at my organization, uh, the Oceanic Preservation Society, we have, uh, you know, we generate all of our, our electricity with sun and, and, and wind. You know, the, the electric company gives me a check every month. Why do they send you a check? Because I have 120 solar panels on my roof. I, ge I generate more electricity than I need. I, Where do you live? I live in Colorado. It's, we have more sun than the Sunshine State oh, there. Okay. Even in the winter, it keeps you. Yeah, I, I got a check from uh, you know the darkest month of the year is December, and I got a check from the electric company. You know, I usually I used to pay them anywhere from 500 to 1,000 dollars a month for work and home. Now I don't pay them anything. They pay me. Why are you here at the Independent Television Festival? I'm here to pick up the Golden Goody Award, and it's, a, it's a, an award for social activism, I guess, and that's a, sort of the Academy Award for social activism, so you know, I'm proud of our team that we, we, we earned this. And, uh, which work are they presenting it for? Um, uh, the Cove. Yeah, the, the Cove is the only film that we've done so far. Yeah, the, the first film we did won an Academy Award and about 100 other awards. But aren't you uh, associated with National Geographic? Um, not right now. No, I used to be. A, I used to work with National Geographic as a still photographer over almost 20 years, but not not, not anymore. I'm now I'm running my own foundation, and we're doing, you know, sort of what National Geographic did, but on a different level. With National Geographic, did uh, did you spend time in aquatic photography or? No, uh, most of my work was above ground. I mean, I did a little bit of work underwater, but not much, nothing that was published really. And uh, this is the, f but I've always been a, f a diver since I was in, in college. And um, now we've built the best underwater camera that there is. My, my the, the guy that financed the cove built this best, you know, it's an incredible underwater camera. So I go around the world shooting pictures with that right now. Uh, how easy are uh, coming projects to get uh, funded now? Funding's an issue, you know. Um, it's uh, it's the hardest part of my job because it's uh, you know it's, documentaries don't make a lot of money. You know, they there is a, the business model is broken. Most people download them for free. You know, they steal it, and um, it's important to get the message out there. But it's also important to be able to f keep the lights on, and that's that's getting tougher and tougher to do. Doing documentaries, you know, even a, even a great documentary. Um, doesn't make a lot of money. It, you know, the Cove never broke even. But now with National Geographic and Wild or the, all, all these new channels, don't they provide uh, funding sources for new documentaries? Um, they don't. Uh, places like Discovery or National Geographic don't pay the kind of money that you might think that they do to, to get the stuff made. They're, 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 they're paying pennies on the dollar for what it actually costs to produce a movie. So no. <laughs> what do you think about crowdfunding? Getting the public to pay. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great idea. We're exploring all these possibilities. I mean, yeah, I think you have to look into all sorts of different business models because, like I said, the one that's we're, we're presently working under is broken. It doesn't work. 